Hi guys, we're here at the Miss Universe Philippines, Vidya Medica Philippines contract signing and let's talk about beauty and cosmetic surgery this time mm -hmm. around and right here with me is Hi. a beautiful engineer. Uh, thank you so much Sir Adam. Yeah, finally na ambush na rin kita. A very beautiful host then. <laughs> oh. Hi Sir. Yes, hello, you look Hi. stunning. Oh, so you. I've got you a question too. for you, mm -hmm. just answer. Is, it? is cosmetic <laughs> surgery a form of women empowerment? Why or why not? Well, I think each of us, naman, each woman, can be empowered in so many ways. Even if like, you're going to go under the knife using cosmetic surgery, as long as you, you are confident with that, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't see anything wrong with it. Especially if you're going to be more confident when it comes to your body. Well said. Thank you. You're welcome. Adam. Hello again. Nice to see you again. Yes. <laughs> so I've got a question. Mm -hmm. Would you consider cosmetic surgery to win a crown? Um, I haven't really thought about it, but um, also I did consider a lot of things about getting cosmetic surgery. One, for a medical reason, I'm allergic to a lot of medicines and a lot of painkillers, and I don't think I can take the recovery, but I do appreciate and I do, um, so I do have such high regards of those women who have gone through cosmetic surgery because it takes a lot of courage. If you consider having cosmetic surgery to enhance your beauty, then I applaud you and uh, it's it's a uh, it's for enhancement really so if I have nothing against women who choose to have cosmetic surgery as for me for medical reasons I cannot and I would rather not also <laughs> thank you so much you're welcome thank, thank you Chris Hi, Christy. Hi, Adam. Looking fabulous in yellow and tonight. And yourself, as always. Thank you. So I've got a question. Sure, hit me. What is your biggest insecurity that no one knows about? Well, something that people might not believe is that one of my biggest insecurities has always been my height. Um, I've actually been bullied all through grade school. I was one of the tallest kids in the class, not only amongst the girls, but also amongst the boys. Um, I was almost around this height even when I was like graduating middle school, similar. So I had my fair share of being called, you know, mga names like Oak Tree, Bugs Bunny, Gumby, Ganon, like, you know, and it was something that I always felt very insecure about. But luckily, growing into myself after learning that I can use it to my advantage to play sports, now I'm learning I can definitely use it to my advantage in the pageantry world. So, yeah, um, that's something most of you don't know, but yes, my height. <laughs> so from being an awkward child before, you're now, use it, you're now turning it into an asset. I mean, I think, that's, I think that's what most people should try to do about their insecurities. They should try to find a way that they recognize that it's something that makes them unique and beautiful. Well said. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, Phoebe. Hi, nice to finally meet you. It's nice to meet you too. So I've got a question. Okay. Would you consider cosmetic surgery to win oh. the crown? Well, I'm a very open-minded person, so I wouldn't say no instantly. And as of now, I'm very, I'm still very satisfied with the way I look. So maybe in the future, Oh, uh, you're you're very uh, open about it. Uh, yes, I'm very as already open about now. it. It's already 2024, so why not? Right? Yeah. It's not something to be ashamed of. Exactly. Thank you very much. You. Hello, Tamara. Hello. Finally, nice to meet you in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. So I've got a question. Yeah, sure. Is undergoing cosmetic surgery a form of women empowerment. I like your question. <laughs> Thank you. I believe beauty, uh, I mean women empowerment comes in many forms and every woman has the right to make choices that will empower them. So if it will make you more confident, more beautiful, of for, if you get a cosmetic surgery then so be it. Your happiness is more important than the society's opinion of you. I mean there's nothing wrong of wanting to be prettier. Exactly. Well said. Thank you so much.
introduction. Hi, Denise. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fine. I'm doing well, too. So I've got a question for you. Yeah, of course. Go. What is your biggest insecurity that no one knows about? My biggest insecurity will be my diet. Oh. <laughs> yes, because I can go from like going on meal plans and just watching what I eat, doing cleanses, to just really enjoying a good donut <laughs> oh. <laughs> and like a nice piece of cake. Oh. So I was just like, girl, what are you doing? I was like, you know what? This is really good Krispy Kreme. Uh. That's not an advertisement, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> so yes, that is my insecurity. Sometimes I overindulge and like myself like a nice piece of cake. <laughs> Have you done a creative way to discipline yourself when it comes to that aspect? Um, yes, I do a monthly cleanse, at least like once a month. But then again, right after the holidays, that's when, <laughs> that's when the families and the titas come out. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have an extra plate, so like, you know what I mean? But um, I think it's just being more proactive and being aware of what I intake. Um, you know, especially as I'm, I'm growing as a woman as well. So it's, um, it's very important for us to have that balance of Okay, you watch what you eat, but you can also indulge us at the same time. Yes. Healthy mindset. Healthy mindset, but also it's okay to have a little fun. You know? <laughs> Just, yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you so, so of course, much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hi, Christina. Hey, Adam. Nice another to see you day, again. Another day, yeah. another event. Good to see you. <laughs> me too. So I've got a question. Tell me. Is undergoing cosmetic surgery a form of women empowerment for you? I think it's a really challenging question because I think in the past we've always seen surgery as a bit of a taboo subject, especially here in the Philippines and of course abroad. But I think it's a form of choice and if we really want to give women power in who they are, if they would like to have surgery then that's up to them. Taking a choice away from somebody isn't really giving them a chance to be who they want to be. For myself, um, it's not something that I'm looking to explore. But if there is something that someone else wants to explore and it's going to make them happy and they've genuinely researched it and thought about it and believe that it's going to help them, I think go for it. Yeah, I think so too. Thank you. Hi, Vivi. Hello, Sir Adam. How are you? I'm okay. You look stunning in yellow. Thank you so much. As a sunflower. <laughs> All the more your beauty shines. Thank you. So I've got a question for you tonight. Mm -hmm. What is your biggest insecurity that no one knows about? Oh, so admittedly, as a Virgo, which people do know, uh, I am an extreme perfectionist, which I am trying to slowly but surely remove from my character. I think being a perfectionist or too much of a perfectionist can be detrimental. And so I think that's the one thing I'm insecure about. Like, I want things to be perfect all the time. So I'm working on it. <laughs> so if you apply it to your... MUP journey here. Are you less perfectionist now in everything that you I'm do? Just, I'm so relaxed this time and people are noticing that. it. Uh -oh. So I'm really happy to see that. Uh, I don't think I'm a perfectionist this time, but I think I, it does translate in the way where I know I'm never done. You know, like I can still keep learning, I can still keep growing, I can still keep training uh, and continuing to be better in that way. So, hindi naman perfectionist, pero ano, continuous improvement pa rin. <laughs> Thank you, VVV. Thank Thanks for sharing a little bit of yourself tonight. Thank you. Or Kumain about ka your game plan. Yeah, finished. Okay, good. Except for the dessert. Uh, <laughs> saving it for later. Saving the best for last. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Vivi. Hi, Kayla. Hi. So good to see you again, Adam. Yes, you look stunning as always. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You look yeah. amazing as well. You're just so beautiful. <laughs> but speaking of beauty, I've got a question for you. Yes. So which would you prefer for a girl? Smart but not so beautiful or beautiful but not so smart? You know, I so which would you prefer for a girl? Smart but but not so beautiful or beautiful but not so smart you know i think i touched on this a little bit the last time we talked but i really really hope we can get to a point in society where we focus more on inner beauty and the other qualities we have to offer as women versus just our outer beauty i mean yes this is a beauty pageant and people love to tune in for the glitz and glamour which is a really great aspect of it but really i feel like this organization and you know um, the muph stage is for us to show that we're so much more than just you know our outward appearance we're brilliant brilliant women coming together to voice the things that we really care about and to show that we're so much more than that so i think if i had to pick i would pick smart but not beautiful because really inner beauty is what matters at the end of the day or why not have both um 
yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, all of us yeah. here, I feel like, are a testament that you can be beautiful and also brilliant. So yes, both would be <laughs> yeah, uh, both would be the best scenario. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, thank you, Kayla. Adam. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Hi, Ray. Hello, sir Adam. Welcome back. Yes, good to see you again. Ang nagbabalik. So I've got a question for you. Yes, what is it, sir? Sige nga. I, I want to shake your confidence. Okay. Level a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your biggest insecurity that no one knows about? Hmm, I say my biggest insecurity that no one knows about, it's not something physical, so it's not something that people would notice right away. I'd say that it's something from within. It's my mindset, my anxiousness, because I feel like I'm, I was unable for the longest time to show who I truly am to other people, and I was unable to really appreciate myself because of how anxious I was of what other people were going to say about me. So I'd say that that is my biggest insecurity, and that is something that I'm working on right now, joining a pageant like this. I am putting myself in the position where people are free to criticize me. And as an anxious person, of course, I've thought and over, I've overthink about it a lot. Po. But being here, I'm facing my fears. And this is also a sign. And I'm also being a symbol to other people that you are your biggest competition. And just think about yourself. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Have well said. Meron pala ako. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> well said. Thank you, Sir Adam. Good luck. Thank you. Happy to, I'm just so happy to see you. Thank you. I'm happy to see you too. Yeah. And them, the girls. Yes. Mwah. Hi, Doctora. Hello. Nice Hello. to see you. Yes. It's nice to see you more. Yeah. Ang ganda ng tourism video mo. <laughs> oh, yeah. thank you so much. I still couldn't get enough of it. So, I've thank got you. a question for you tonight. Yes. You know, we're talking about health, wellness, and improving yourself physically yes. for this competition. So, I have a question. Why do you think cosmetic surgery is still considered a taboo topic among us Filipinos? I really think that cosmetic surgery is like is still a taboo topic among the Filipinos because a lot of the Filipinos are still unaccepting of the idea na parang yung mga Yung mga beauty, even the beauty queens na nag -cosmetic, nag cosmetic surgery because hindi pa sila siguro um, maybe Ready. they think yeah they think na parang dapat more natural dapat more organic but we're talking about the confidence of the girls we're talking about how beautiful they see themselves I mean we're all beautiful but if it makes you happy if it makes you more confident pag mag cosmetic surgery ka then go because I've always have this women supporting women mantra so pag gusto nila and then they want it they make it makes them more beautiful then go and then who are we naman diba to to judge these girls to judge these beautiful empowered women for their decisions it's their body it's their decisions in life if it makes them more happy in living their life then let them be and then yung topic naman kasi ng cosmetic surgery we also respect the beliefs of everyone lalo na yung sa religion or any beliefs of each other nandun pa rin yung respect sa individuality ng mga Filipinos so yun if you're um, if the girls are into it, then live, give them the decisions for themselves. That's for my stand. Can I ask a follow-up question? Yes. Is, is your answer shaped by your views as a doctora or from a personal perspective? It's my personal view. Because you know what? I, myself, um, I, again, I do not um, condemn women na mag undergo ng cosmetic surgery. But for myself, kasi, I still um, practice na hindi muna ako mag cosmetic surgery or I might not Talaga. Because um, gusto ko sa ko, it's my personal choice. Because eventually, also after the Miss Universe Philippines or after this career of pageantry, I'll go back to my profession as a medical doctor. As much as possible, gusto ko yung, yung natural look ko pa rin. But that's for my own personal perspective. And I feel more confident and beautiful with this look. So, parang hindi ko naman binibigay sa ibang tao yung decision sa life ko. So, that's what I'm telling to the other girls. Go for it. If it makes you more beautiful, it makes you more confident, then go for it. Love yourself than anybody else. Well said. Thank you, Doctora. Thank you so much. Hi, Anita. Hello, Every time Mr. nakikita Alam. kita, paganda ka ng paganda. Oh, thank you. Grabe. Galing-galing mo talaga at ng team mo in leveling up for oh, this year's you. competition. So I've got a question for you tonight. Okay. So let's let me shake up your confidence level a little bit. Okay. <laughs> what is your biggest insecurity that no one knows about? Oh. My biggest insecurity is, you know, the constant fear of not being good enough. 
whether it's in my physical or my appearance or my character, my personality, where I have this thought that maybe I didn't give my best. So though I, despite every day, I'm trying to give my best all the time, but there's always a doubt that I may fall short of expectation, especially our pageant pants. So yeah, I'm just striving to be better every day and to combat that insecurity. And I think I started by loving, accepting myself just the way I am. I'm so glad to hear that. Carry on. Oh, thank you, Sir Adam. <laughs> thank you, Paul. Hey. Hi, Stacy. Hey, Adam G. <laughs> you look stunning in yellow tonight. Thank you very much. So I've got a question for you. All right. I'd have to pick your brain all the time. Okay. Let me shake up your confidence level a bit. Okay. <laughs> what is your biggest insecurity that no one knows yet about? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, talk about shaking up my confidence a little bit. Um, my biggest insecurity is my second toe. Oh. Yung pangalawang daliri ko po sa paa, ang haba-haba po niya. Mas mahaba pa po siya sa aking big toe. And my whole life, that's, I, I used to research like, can I, can I chop it off? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just... Pag nakita nyo, I mean, I, I, obviously, this is why I will never show you my feet. Pero pag nakita nyo po talaga yung paa ko, napakahaba po nung pangalawang daliri. That's all. And I thank you. <laughs> but wow, uh, but you're sti you still love to wear stilettos, di ba? Lalo pag open toe. Yes. You know, what I have learned in life is you've just got to embrace it. You've just got to be cozy in your skin because it's the only skin you'll ever be in. So... <laughs> Whereas in my childhood, I used to hate my toe with a burning passion. Now I just say, you know what? Giselle Bunchen has the same toe. And if she can mm. wear open toe stilettos with her second toe going over the stiletto, I think I can also, you know, that confidence can rub off on me a little bit too. <laughs> You're in good company, apparently. <laughs> I just forced it. I was like, supermodels with, with long second toes. <laughs> and I found her. <laughs> God doesn't give with both hands. He is fair. <laughs> I agree. All right, thank you, Stacey. Thank you, Adam G, as Mwah. always. Mwah. Hi, Atisa. Hi, Kuya Adam. Nice How to are see you doing? again. Nice to see you again, as always. I feel so good every time I see you. <laughs> so I've got a question. I've got a question. Okay. Since we're here at the Villa Medica Philippines sponsor event, mm -hmm. so here's my question. We always have question. a question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in early practice, practice now for Q&A. That's true. I love it. I love it. Is cosmetic surgery a form of women empowerment? I really believe so. I think that being able to do anything with your own body or face, whatever you want to do um, to it, is a form of bodily autonomy. And I do think that the only way that women are equal to men is if when we get to decide what we do with our own body and faces. So I do think it is a big part of women empowerment, yes. I like how you related <laughs> it to, to equality. The, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank yes. you, Thank Atisa. you, Kaya Adam. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Alexi. Hi, sir. How Hello. are you? I'm doing fine. What about you? Absolutely fine. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying. Yes. Yeah, so I've got a question for you. What is your biggest insecurity that no one knows about? Well, I, I don't know if no one knows about, but I grew up really having an insecurity about my color. Because, you know, we live in this country, Telagana, almost everyone wants to be like at least fair skin and I grew up in here who has a different complexion and the reason why I felt insecure about my skin tone is because a lot of kids was really bullying me up growing up so parang there's nothing you can do there's nothing I can do about my skin tone I love who I am I accept who I am for me as a person but you can't really please people so I grew up thinking that I was different and I grew up thinking that I was not beautiful until I realized right now that what makes you different is actually what makes you beautiful so I started to embrace myself and I am here right now joining this competition as a representation of someone who's authentic and who's embracing their self and I want the dark-skinned woman out there to feel the same na parang your skin doesn't really tell you so so much it does tell you a great story but that doesn't mean na parang you're not beautiful just because of you have dark skin uh, that was one of my insecurity growing up but right now i don't care i love my skin that what makes me the black queen that i am i'm so glad you were able to overcome that phase of your life thank you so much sir. you're welcome congratulations again thank you thank you